सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन सो वी स्टार्टेड आर फ्रेश बैच ऑफ सिक्स बैच ऑफ एक्सरसाइज वन एंड टू येस्टरडे ऑफ कोर्स एज अ प्रीलूड टू द एक्सरसाइज वन एंड टू we wanted to discuss a few things so yesterday we started with this question happiness is it our innate nature or is it an external influence and we had um, several observations from several people uh, but due to shortage of time we couldn't take everybody's observations although several hands were raised so if anybody would like to give their observations now we can do that otherwise we'll move forward okay so we are asking this question whether happiness is our innate nature or it is an external influence this is a very significant question isn't it now if happiness is our innate nature then we'll try to make effort to ensure this happiness within ourselves and how we do that is with the right understanding in the self and the right feeling and thought in the self been i am so many years old now i've been teaching for so long and in so far we have not paid attention to the self but it doesn't matter even if we haven't paid attention to the self so far now we can start paying attention but the problem becomes when if we think that this is something we have to get from outside that happiness you know it's not within me it's not my nature nature if that is my belief then i try to keep getting happiness from outside so how will i get this happiness from outside i keep trying i keep trying through the various sense organs of the body in the form of say tasty food good so called good music something music that appeals to me seeing different places you know different um sensations that are pleasant so we try to get this favorable sensation through the body but you can see how long the happiness from that can last as long as that sensation is there will feel the happiness or that pleasure or that excitement after it's gone so is that temporary happiness this is one way another way we keep trying to get happiness from outside is from favorable feeling from other people so we may believe that if we have lot of wealth people will respect us now we get busy trying to accumulate more and more wealth living in a bigger house getting you know more expensive cars but the base there is some 
expectation that there should be people should put it to that so when we are not sure this we keep doing and we have been paying attention to all these external methods of trying to get happiness from outside and so far we can see whether it has worked for us or it has not worked for us so obviously if it has not been working for us now it is time to pay attention inside to pay attention to the self and see this make effort to try to establish ourselves in that innate nature of ours so this question came up yesterday if it is my innate nature then why do i have to make effort for it well if i don't see it if i don't pay attention to it i don't see it and if i don't see it then i keep having that void inside i lack that happiness inside because i can't see it and so i keep trying to find other ways in which i think that this happiness that i am searching for will be there within me so again like we keep repeating for the workshop the same thing holds true here also whatever we are saying here look at it as a proposal don't assume it to be true but at the same time don't assume it to be false also try to verify it for yourself forward these proposals you can verify on the basis of your natural acceptance and we have discussed this in the workshop also what is your natural acceptance that answer that you are getting from deep down within you when you ask that question right you get an answer from within that answer is coming from somewhere within you you can call it your inner voice you can call it your conscience you can call it your pure self your higher self many people may use different words for it but the important thing is to be able to see it within ourselves to be able to access it to be able to refer to it from time to time so we will put some proposals before you you can try to verify on the basis of your natural acceptance and once you have verified it you also try to validate it through your experience how would you validate it you live according to it and you see does it work does it not work that you can verify whatever proposals we are putting forward you can verify them on the basis of your natural acceptance and so if we ask that question that we have asked several times before in the workshop also what is naturally acceptable to you a feeling of trust or a feeling of mistrust you can ask yourself that question right now and get the answer from within you isn't it so if you can reply in the chat yeah, so we can see this answer that comes from within is to have that feeling of trust that is naturally acceptable to us now 
if we can verify this through a natural acceptance now we try to live according to it so when we interact with other human beings is it leading to mutual happiness or not when i have when i interact with the other person with that feeling of trust trust means i have trust on intention that the other's intention is as pure as mine it is just the competence that is lacking if i have verified for myself and i see that this is naturally acceptable to me then at any moment if i go to interact with another human being with that feeling of trust with that feeling that the other's intention is just like mine it is pure the problem may be lack of competence if the behavior is not right now when i live according to this does it make me happy and does it help to make the other happy if that is the case that there is mutual happiness now i have experientially validated it similarly all the proposals one can verify on the basis of our natural acceptance and then try to experience and see if it is validated or not in our experience so for that you have to live according to it when you live according to it and you interact with other human beings it should lead to mutual happiness and when you are working with rest of nature it should lead to mutual prosperity your own prosperity and prosperity of nature if that is happening now you have experientially validated it now it becomes true for you now it is you have that right understanding so this can happen in small bits bit by bit we are gathering we are trying to verify different proposals and we keep verifying through the natural acceptance and then trying to experience it validate it see if it is true for us then we know for sure it is true for us before that we may have believed many things we have read many things we have heard many things so many things are spoken of um you know we may have been taught something in school we may have read some texts where some information is there but that is all information it may be true for somebody else is it true for me how can i be sure so i need to verify through my own natural acceptance and then try to validate it live according to it and see then i can truly say yes i know i have understood this so this is what is going to be the process here also here that observation is going to start or you know if it has started then it is going to continue so all the proposals we will be trying to explore trying to see all the information that we got in the five day online workshop we are trying to directly see within ourselves and then live by it so now let us look at what is happiness and what is unhappiness we have done this in the workshop but just to recap just to try to see you know that if we recall this when we talk of happiness it is the state or situation in which i live 
if there is harmony or synergy in it, then it is naturally acceptable to me to be in that state or situation. Now, does that make sense to us? You can answer in the chat. Do you think this is naturally acceptable to you? To be in a state or situation in which there is harmony and you want to continue to be in that state. Yes. So we can see that. So to be in a state of harmony or synergy, this is happiness. Or you can say happiness is to be in harmony. Now, on the other hand, if you look at unhappiness, the state or situation in which I live, if there is disharmony or contradiction in it, then it is not naturally acceptable to me to be in that state or situation. What do you say? Is that true for you or not? Yes, no. That when there is conflict or disharmony, then it is not naturally acceptable to be to me to be in that state or situation. Yes or no? So we can see lots of yeses. So to be forced to be in a state of disharmony or contradiction is unhappiness. Or you can say unhappiness is disharmony. Naturally, it is not naturally acceptable to be for me to be in that state, but I don't know how to come out of it. So in a way, I am forced to be in that state. Then this unhappiness is there in me because of this disharmony within. This disharmony is unhappiness within me, isn't it? Next slide, Bhaiya. So we can say that happiness is to be in a state of harmony and unhappiness is to be forced to be in a state of contradiction. Right? Any questions so far? We can take them, otherwise we will move forward. G Amul Ji. Didi is इसमें हम हार्मनी को डिफाइन करते हैं क्या कि हार्मनी मतलब ये है और या ऐसा हम फर्दर जाके डिफाइन करते हैं क्या कि इन एनी सिचुएशन या ये फिर एक फीलिंग है जो हम अपने अंदर देखना चाहिए हाँ सो so, हार्मनी within you right because your yeah. experience is within you only no ji so most important let us see you know what this harmony within you is ji so your what you really want to be and what you are when they are aligned hmm. that is harmony isn't it wow hmm hmm so what is your natural acceptance, what you really want to be, and what is your imagination, your desires, thoughts, expectations? If they mm. are matching, then there is disharmony, uh, there is harmony within. Mm. That harmony, when you experience it, you are experiencing that happiness. You feel that calm, you feel comfortable within. This is what is. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Didi. Yeah. 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 And when you are not able to be in that state, it's like you are forced to be in a state of contradiction. That is unhappiness. Hmm. Yeah. Ji. So what is uh, and what you want to be? Yeah. Is me susangati hona. Yes. Ji. Ji. That you can see within also. Yeah, Isn't yes, it? yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
so moving forward bhaiya um, next slide please so let us look at the sources of happiness what kind of sources where we can get this happiness so like it was being mentioned you know when things outside are like this then we become unhappy so let us see what are the possibilities what are the sources how we can be happy so one is right understanding where is this right understanding it is within me in myself where is the experience of happiness or unhappiness that is also within me within myself so when we say right understanding we are talking about understanding the harmony at all the levels of our being what are all the levels of our being we are starting with ourselves as the human being so in the human being we are a coexistence of self and body so in the self that is within me there you know if there is harmony what we were talking about just now that matching of alignment of what you really want to be and what you are when that is there within me then there is harmony within myself with that harmony within myself to understand the harmony of myself with the body so that you can understand the harmony at the level of the human being with that to understand the harmony of the family as a family as a part of the family because i as a human being i am a part of a family so to understand the harmony in the family with that to understand the harmony in the society and the harmony that is there in nature and existence so you will be able to see that or at least we can see if it is naturally acceptable to us to try to work for this here there can be a definite completion point that continuity can be ensured that is possible so this is a proposal whether we are able to see it now or not that is a different matter but we can keep this proposal open and try to sort of um one is verify through a natural acceptance and then we will see if we can experientially validate this and see if it is possible this is one method with this right understanding one can understand the relationships and when we understand the relationships we have the right feelings within us so we talked of these feelings in the workshop feelings of trust respect affection care guidance reverence glory gratitude love all these feelings that are naturally acceptable to us when we have these right feelings we feel happy here also we will find that there is a definite completion point that continuity is possible and of course if that continuity is possible we can see that this is a self organization within ourselves we are no longer dependent on the outside situation so it may or may not be possible right now but we'll keep it as an open proposal and we'll explore into this because if this possibility is there for us then it makes all the difference isn't it then within myself i can have this source of continuous happiness which i am searching for there can be the other part of this um, you know what we are trying to work for lot of times we are trying to get this making effort to get this happiness from outside so if we are trying to get it from the other person like somebody said that you know 
somebody gets angry, somebody misbehaves, somebody cheats, somebody does this, that, or the other. If I want to be, if I'm going to say that only when those people, everybody that I interact with will be nice to me, will behave properly with me, then only I'll be happy. Now you can see how difficult that task is, isn't it? First of all, you are depending on another person to behave a certain way so that you can be happy. Right? The other thing is it is very temporary. Because one moment somebody says something harsh like uh, somebody was mentioning about the anger that it is just happens. So then it can happen with just anybody that means. So now if we are trying to say that we are going to be happy only when the other person, everybody else around me behaves properly, then it is a very difficult task, isn't it? So continuity, we may be able to see that is not possible in this situation. There is no completion point. We can keep trying, you know. We try to make our home the way we want we dominate over the other people and say no this is how this is the rules of the house everybody has to behave like this but then we go out to the workplace and uh, now the people have come from so many different homes there with different sets of different upbringing different sets of rules in their homes now things look very different here when i interact with others now what do i do then I interact with so many other people. I go to the shop to buy vegetables. I go to this place, that place. I go to the market. I go to um, the, say, the train station. I go to so many places, we can see, and so many places I interact with. Now, if I'm trying to get this right feeling from all these people, and I want key, at every moment, everything should be the way I want. Only then I'll be happy. And it's a very difficult task. So I'll, you know, we may get some temporary sort of pleasure, some excitement from this. But we can see for ourselves if we can make it continuous. Because end of the day, that is what we want, right? We are, we are all aspiring for continuous happiness. We. We can see that we want to be happy, but it's not working. No? So then we have to see. So this possibility seems temporary. Another method that we've been trying is through sensation, through the body, through the five sense organs, through sound, touch, form, taste, smell. Here again, we can see that there is a dependence on that sensation persisting. But the body is temporary. So, and all of these sensations, how long can they give you happiness? So we give that example of the sweet, right? You take the sweet in your mouth. You feel that sensation. That supposing you are, you say, you know, you take a rasgulla in the mouth and you experience that sweet taste. And you say, no, no, this gives happiness, no matter what you say. Now, how long does this happiness last? As long as that rasgulla is on your tongue, you feel happy. The moment it goes down the throat, now whatever it does, it does for the body. Your taste that was giving you that happiness. Is it there now? Yes or no? Can you answer in the chat? Once that rasgulla goes down the throat, that taste, is it there after it has gone down the throat? I'm getting mostly no's. One odd yes. Yes. So, 
we can see this we can observe this today you know, those of us who are saying yes you can today go and try to do this experiment whatever is your favorite sweet or if you don't like sweet whatever is your favorite salty food take enough of it and sit down and take one bite and see when you get that taste in your mouth if you feel if you think this you are getting happiness through this see how long that happiness lasts you will find that the the moment that piece of food goes down your throat now that sensation that taste that you were craving or that you were looking for that has gone and with that your happiness may be gone then if we are looking for happiness there and so what do we do we take another bite and another bite and another bite what are we trying to do we are trying to prolong that happiness that is coming from that taste because it is so short lived it is so temporary so we can all try this experiment and see and maybe give our observations tomorrow whether we could see this or not that this continuity will not be possible there will be no completion point so these are some of the sources of happiness and uh, we are almost out of time so what i'll do is we'll stop here and like i said we can explore this within ourselves that you know we can have this happiness through right understanding and right feeling within the self we also try to get this happiness from others through feeling from others we also try to get this happiness through sensation through the body is it working is it not working what is our exploration on it we will discuss this tomorrow so for today we will try to explore into this that is our task for today and we can do that experiment also with the sensation part and also we can try to see you know when others are having you know expressing some feeling which is not favorable for us how we are feeling and if they are expressing that favorable situation favorable feeling for us how we are feeling and what we can see out of that what kind of conclusions we can come that can come from this we'll try to explore this today and take your observations tomorrow